Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. So today we're going to do sketching linear graphs, and there are two ways. Now, I'm not saying plotting. What did we do when we plotted linear graphs? Plotted dot. Yeah, we, how many uh, points did we find? <coughs> two. More than two. We found three or four, and we plotted different values, and then we drew the line through it, right? Now we're doing sketching. And in years 10, 11, and 12 as well, you never asked to plot a graph. So we did plotting so you understand how we get graphs, why are these called linear relationships. But now that we know that they are linear relationships, we don't need to plot. So we actually sketch graphs and we only mark the important points on the graph. So there's two methods. Uh, I'm going to go through the first one. Sketching linear graphs using the gradient and the y-intercept. What is the gradient? We discussed it last lesson. Rise over run, it tells us how steep the line is. Positive gradient represents a line going up, left to right. Negative gradient represents down, left to right. We all remember that? And what's the y-intercept? Uh, where the y makes the gradient. What is the y-intercept? Uh, that's where the line crosses the y. Exactly. The point where the line cuts through the y-axis is called the y-intercept. The point where the line cuts the x-axis is called the x-intercept. Now, when an equation is written in y equals form, that means we only have y on this side and everything else on the other. Then, the number multiplied with x, this number m here, is the gradient. Okay? Remember, it should be in y equals form. Y on one side, nothing else. It can't be 2Y or 3Y or negative Y. It must be just Y equals. Everything else on the other side. Then the number multiplied with X is called the gradient. And this number is actually the Y intercept. So if I give you an equation in Y equals form, would you be able to tell me what the gradient is and the Y intercept is? Yes. And that is why this form is called the gradient intercept form. Now, let's have a look. Is this in y equals form? Is this an equation? Does it have an equal sign? Yes. Is it in y equals form? Is it a linear equation? Is the highest power of x1? If that's the case, the number multiplied with x must be the gradient. So what is the gradient of this line? 2. Make sense? So gradient equals 2. Then, the number after that or before that without the x is the y-intercept. So what's the y-intercept for this line? Negative 5. Negative 5. We all agree with that? Y-intercept is represented by the letter C. So C equals negative 5. So we looked at this equation and we found the gradient and the y-intercept. Can we do that? Let's have a look at it. So is it in y equals form? What's the number multiplied with x? What's the number multiplied by x? Good morning, are you awake? Yeah. Great. What's the number multiplied with x? A. A either. Uh, seven. No. What's the number multiplied with x, not added? Two thirds. Two thirds. So is it two thirds times x? So that means the gradient will be? Two thirds. And what's the number that doesn't have x, the constant term? That's the y intercept, which is? So this is called the gradient intercept form, the y equals form. We can actually pinpoint what the gradient is for that line and what's the y intercept if we have it in this form. Is this making some sense? Yes. Okay. Now, if it's in y intercept form, we can actually sketch it easily. Right? Let's follow these steps. So the first step is mark the y intercept. This is your first point on the graph. So first of all, what is the gradient of this line and what's the y-intercept? What's the number multiplied with x? Two thirds. And what's the y-intercept? Five. five. Okay? So that means the first point on the graph is five. Now, y-intercept is where it cuts the y-axis. So that means on the y-axis, one, two, three, four, five. This is the first line, first point. Can we mark 5 on the y-axis? That's the y-intercept. Easy to do? Then, 
Write your gradient as rise over run. Have we written it as a fraction? If the gradient is positive, we move up that many units from that point. So, the rise is 2. We need to move up how many units? 2. So, which point will I get to? If I move 2 units up, so I started from the first point, I moved 1, 2. Have I reached here? Yeah. Now, move to the right according to the run. What's the run? Three. So I need to move right three units. So from here, it's at zero, you go one, two, three. Do you reach this point? Seven comma three comma seven? That is your second point on the graph. So the first point on the graph was the y-intercept. You started there. You moved up according to the rise. You moved right according to the run, and you got your second point. Now, all you have to do is grab a ruler and draw a line through them. So, the two important points of this graph are the one you started from. Write it as coordinates and the second point. So, what's the x coordinate here? Three. Three. And what's the y coordinate Seven. here? Seven. And that's it. So, what's the first point we start from? Y intercept. We move up if the rise is positive, and then we move right according to the run. That gives us our second point. Let's try another example. What's the gradient of this line? Negative 1 over 3. Negative 1 over 3. What's the y intercept? 2. 2. What's the first point on the graph? 2. 2. Let's start from 2. 2 on the y axis. So 1, 2. Yes? Yeah. Now, our gradient is negative. <coughs> so from our first point, we move down. How many units? One. One. Because it's not rising, it's falling. The gradient is negative. So we move down one unit. And then what's my run? Three. three. So I move right. right three. So one, two, three. This is my second point. So the first point is my y-intercept. Second point is after you've done the rise and run. Draw a line through them. Marking the important points, this is 0, 2. What's the x-coordinate at this point? 3. And what's the y-coordinate? 1. That's it. You've sketched it. Does that make sense? Do we all know how to find the gradient from the equation? Finding the y-intercept? Sketching the line. That's it. Let's do some questions and then we'll move on to sketching using intercepts.